YouTube, Mickey. All right, I just want to show you a product I've had for a few months now. I haven't uh, done a video on it yet, so I thought I will do it right now. And this is the Pentagon Super Belt, they call it. Um, I'm not fond of carrying things around my waist. Um, just for me, it annoys me, but this actually is quite comfy. Uh, it doesn't seem to pull my pants down. Um, and yeah, it, it, it's, it works great. It actually sits on top of my belts, and yeah, as I said, it's not pushing my belt down at all. Uh, I've decked it out with my kind of Bushcraft EDC Key Essentials. Uh, but quickly, you got all these uh, pockets here. The strap is nice. It's you know a little bit padded. Um, nothing's going to stick into your waist or or your hips and stuff like that. Nice sturdy, you know. Belt clip there. Uh, pockets, so pretty much got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pockets to organize your gear. So, not much to say about the belt itself. It's good quality, um, you know, nylon, uh, excellent zippers, very strong, very smooth. Not sure how waterproof it is, but uh, you can, yeah, it, it kind of closes pretty well, so it would be somewhat a little bit water resistant, I guess. Uh, so I've decked this out with my Bushcraft VDC. I've added one of Pentagon's drop pouches on here. You can see there's a D ring uh, right there to hang something off. Uh, I've offered to hang my drop pouch off there just to maybe collect wild edibles or tinder, maybe put your water bottle in there. It's up to you. I prefer to wear my water, water bottle around my shoulder as a sling system. So let's quickly go through what I have in the bag, so or the, or the uh, belt system. So the front pocket here, just uh, bits and bobs I guess. Uh, in here is my fishing kit with uh, snare wire. I've got my artificial sinew for repairs. I've got some uh, carpet tape with uh, uh, sail needle and uh, safety pins. Just got some more carpet tape. I love it. Got this uh, bees. What's it called? Baddest bee fire fuses. Uh, bought this from Survival Supplies Australia from Dennis. Um, haven't tested them out yet, but uh, nice little kind of waterproof container, and it carries. Seven, eight little fire starters there so I'll do a video on that this weekend testing that out so that's all that's in this uh, first pocket there so you've got your zip there and then you've got a, a flap there to secure it in this pocket here <clears throat> I have my emergency survival blankets who makes this um, lifeline Okay, it's a green, kind of like a fluoro green colour on the outside and obviously the, the metal colour on the inside. Um, transpiration bags, I think there's about two there. I should add some more, I can fit it. My uh, Swedish uh, sharpening steel uh, by Dianova, uh, lapstone. Also sold my website. Great, great bit of gear. Sharpens knives beautifully. So uh, check it out if you haven't seen these before. It's called Dianova, D-I-A-N-O-V-A, -A, Lapstone. Great product. And I've got a rubber. Uh, why? Because I like to, when I sharpen my knives, I like to give the sharpening service a bit of a clean with the rubber. It just gets any metal and, and stuff off it to uh, you know, help it perform a little bit better, so I always carry rubber with me. It's just a nice way of cleaning it quickly. Okay, that's it. In this pocket here, <clears throat> I think this is dedicated to my fire. So I've got one of these um, wicks that I bought from, again, from Survival Supplies Australia, which Dave Canterbury sells, just to help me make, uh, you know, fire, light up a bird's nest. I've got my trusty old fire still. I've had this thing for a long time. I've um, got my strike, I've got a bit of um, electrical tape around there and these these things here are actually two more little ferro rods 
and I've got my good old little cross just to pray for fire. So got that. And I love this one. It's actually one of my favourite fire stills. It's nothing fancy, but it just works. Uh, just a little tinder box here. So I've got uh, a Fresnel lens, multi-purpose for me. I need to wear glasses when I read, and God forbid to thread fishing line through a hook and all that kind of stuff. So. Um, Smudged, but uh, nice little lens there. Yep, no worries. Start a fire. Uh, cotton wool balls, my fire disc that I make from home, and another um, wick. So that's just all. And that little kit. And that's pretty much my fire kit. That, that's all I really require out there. You know, with my knowledge, um, I always carry a lighter with me. We all know I smoke. And just in this pocket here, it's just a very small pocket, but I've just shoved some water purification tablets in there. Another packet there, so I think about 20. Um, just some tea bags. So three tea bags. And a lolly stuck to it. Or candy. And three more pieces of candy. So four pieces of candy, three tea bags. Just, you know just to get the morale up and get some sugar in your NTR and get some warm tea NTR. The tea is uh, Robo's, Rubio's, some South African uh, tea. Pretty nice. Uh, in this pocket here, not much, just uh, just navigation I guess and, and signaling. So just a, a little compass, nothing special but is accurate. I've got my compass on my watch. Um, that is accurate and the batteries will last five years so I'm, I'm sweet with that a little emergency whistle and just a backup whistle just something that I a bear grills whistle that I bought a long time ago I might as well keep it in there that's it there uh, in this pocket here I've got my little Altoids tin which I've made into a, a two wick candle okay there you go so extra lighting extra means of uh, securing fire And in here, in, the main, in well, one of the main pockets, I've got my lip balm. <clears throat> I've got some tea tree oil antiseptic. Great, obviously, for antiseptic. Great for if you've got a blocked nose, put on the rag, smell it, clears the sinuses. Um, you know, fire, uh, fire starter. I mean, there's many uses. Uh, in this one here, it was lip balm, but I. Uh, took it out and put some uh, lam Lamox and I think it's time to refill it actually I don't know what's happened there it's kind of like dissipated so I don't know what's happening there but I need to uh, <clears throat> refill that but Lamox is great for maintaining your blades for main, you know maintaining your wooden handles on your axe or, or whatever it's just a good way of maintaining key essentials um, just this little bodgy torch. Uh, I've got the battery turned around the wrong way, um, but gives a little bit of light. I'm gonna probably swap this out for the LED Lenser K1 torch, uh, but that is always on my my EDC that hangs on my belt anyway. So just a spare torch. Some Ziploc bags to complement my water bottle and the Ziploc bag um, and the bags, and just some medical stuff here. So band aids, wound wipes. What's this? Uh, antiseptic towelettes. So, a few bandages there. Uh, it's got these little gauze sponges. Got a signal mirror, just a mirror that I stole from my wife that was in the cupboard. And just a sp or, uh, spare battery for my torch. And that's pretty much it. So the only thing I'm really missing, which I want to add to it, is electrical tape. I love using electrical tape for medical purposes, especially to, you know, if you cut yourself, put it around there and get the electrical tape around. I could use my carpet tape, but I don't want to waste, waste that on, on that. I'd rather use electrical tape. And then got my drop pouch, um, which is, you know, pretty decent size. You could easily put a, a GI canteen in there with the cup and stove. Uh, but I'm purely going to use that for uh, foraging around in the bush or collecting tinder and stuff like that. It sits there nice on an S-beaner. 
and that is pretty much it. So fits well in the pouch. There's heaps more room for me to add more stuff, but I don't want to. I mean, I don't need to. It's just a little bit of a survival kit around my waist. So how many priorities of survival do I have here? Okay, so we've got mirror, compass, whistle, or whistles. That's one priority, being self-navigation, self-rescue. Um, candling, being a candle, and a torch and a spare battery. Okay, second priority, not in any order. Uh, food procurement, snare wire, fishing kit and fishing line, third priority. Shelter, emergency blanket, four, four priorities. Water, transpiration bags, Ziploc bags, water purification tablets, and my water bottle that'll be around my shoulder. So that's the fifth priority. Medical, just a little bit of uh, band-aids and antiseptic with the tea tree oil. Um, sixth priority, fire, fire steel, tinders, the wick. Seven priorities. I won't class this as any priorities. Um, mental health, tea bags, candy, I class that as a priority, being mental health. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight priorities, survival, repairs, got it there, needle, safety pin, tape, artificial sinew. Okay. So again, sorry, I've lost my count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine priorities survival right there. And uh, obviously your cutting tool is your next priority, which will be on my person. So this bag pretty much covers all the priorities that I teach at my school and, and then some. Then I've got my sharpening, extra fire source here which can go there and just lip balm and, and, and knife maintenance with the Lanox so uh, that can go there and this can go with I guess uh, medical. So that's it. Nice and simple kit. Always got my Leatherman on my side so there's a cutting tool there. Always got a fixed blade with me so my cutting tools there. And most of the time, I've always got my axe with me. So, if I got lost in the bush with this belt kit, I would be pretty happy. Um, I would, I would do okay for 24 to 72 hours. Um, all I would need is to make sure I've got a water source and uh, means of procuring food to last a bit longer. But realistically, if I'm lost out there, I've told someone where I'm going. I'm not back home. I should be rescued within 72 hours because I have a means of signalling. I have a means of self-rescue if I have to. And the important, the important thing is, when you self-rescue yourself, you need to be 200% sure you know exactly where you're going. There's no point being, uh, I think it's that way. No, you need to know 200% sure where it is before you even think about self-rescuing yourself because it's better off just staying where you are and waiting for help. So anyway, I don't drag the video on too long. So that's it, the Pentagon um, Super Belt. Uh, this is the lizard cam, I think it is. I think it comes in black. I'll find out and uh, let you guys know. I will put this on my website, uh, so if you're interested in purchasing it, it'll be on the Southern Cross Survival website. And that is it, fellas. So thank you very much, and I'll catch you next time.